Well, hey, everybody, Pastor Matt here. Happy Wednesday to you. Don't forget to give us a like and a share. Hey, this week we're speaking about some miracles of Jesus. You know, one of my very favorite miracles is the feeding of the 5,000 men plus women and children. And maybe you remember the story, but they were having the equivalent of a camp meeting. Jesus was out in a deserted place in the middle of nowhere. And all these thousands of people showed up because they wanted him to teach. They wanted him to minister to them. And this went on for a long time to the point where Jesus is realizing these people don't have enough energy to walk back to where they came from. And he says to his disciples, you give them something to eat. And they say, we don't have anything. But Jesus <laughs> said, hey, we're going to have a miracle here. They said, well, well, what we do have, we've got five loaves, two fish. And Jesus said, bring that here to me. Had the people sit down. They passed it. Jesus blessed it, broke it, gave it. And before it was all said and done, there was more fish and bread than there were people. And there were 12 baskets of fragments left over. That is a provisional miracle. And God is still in the provisional miracle business. There are times that I know I've been a part of several, maybe you have too, where God came through when there was no way. Whether it was paying a rent, paying a mortgage, paying a car, having a car fixed, God is a God of miracles. And he's a God of provisions. As a matter of fact, one of the names of God is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God who provides. And I want you to know today in your life, the Lord provides. And the, one of the keys, these people, they took what they did have and they gave it to Jesus. I remember many years ago when we could not get a single person to come to our church and stay there for any length of time. And we were trying to meet in a hotel room, trying to meet in our own living room, and we just could not get it to work. And I remember the Lord gave me a word. He said, now you've seen what you can do. Now you're going to see what I can do. And I asked the Lord in that moment, I said, Lord, we need a building. The hotel room's not working. Our living room's not working. We can't even afford a chair, but we need a building. And I remember taking all the money we had at that time. I'm not telling you to do this, but I, this is what was for us at this time. A special gift of faith was in operation. And we took all the money we had and we sold it to another church's building fund. And you know, within two weeks, I received a phone call from somebody saying, are you by chance looking for a building? There's a long story behind that, but the Lord gave us a building where we would begin to put roots down to have a ministry. What I want you to know is there is the power of God available, the provisional help from God available. I encourage you to take what you have and give it to the Lord in Jesus' name and see what God can do. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.